All right, look, so pretty interesting day in the market today. Um, we have FOMC meeting come up soon, the Fed are meeting. Um, I think, now last time I predicted a 25 basis point hike, which was what we had, and everything fell into place, the VIX dropped, market went higher. Now, um, I believe next week presents an opportunity to actually short the market. Um, because I believe all next week the VIX will be elevated. Um, and with the VIX spiking, that uh, will create a sell order on the S&P 500, on SPY. So, um, you know, I actually think the VIX, you know, I think there's the propaganda ministry is going to sell fear all next week. And I think it presents, if you're long, a great opportunity to buy the dip. Um, and if you're short, to enter in puts and to, you know, I think that the market will go down pretty much a leg down every day. Maybe a choppy day, maybe like a Wednesday, we'll have like a slight flat day. But I think it will be rough next week. Um, so I'm positioned accordingly. It could be wrong. No, but um, the main thing is to watch what the Fed does on their meeting, May 3rd or 4th, forget whatever day it is. But um, when they come out with the federal funds rate, I've literally, accuracy has been 100%. Check my last two videos of predicting what the Fed will do. Uh, I believe that this time it'll be 50 basis points. They're going to do it uh, half a percentage, 0.5 percentage point of uh and that's going to be the and that's going to uh the market's going to see that and that's going to actually calm the markets it's going to drop the vix and we will have a subsequent rally in equities in uh you know in s p 500 the main thing with this channel is i try to focus on the vix and on the s p 500 on spy specifically um so that's the game plan Watch the VIX. Make sure you're watching the VIX. That's the most important thing with what with with what we do, with what I do, you know, and hopefully that you are looking at the VIX. And, you know, when the VIX goes down, boop, the algorithms and machines that are automatically set by financial institutions, they trigger a and when the VIX goes down, say it's went down three percent. That's triggering a buy order from the machines to buy SPY. It's buying it automatically. Same thing in reverse. When the VIX spikes, boom, 3 to 5%, boom, nice little spike. The machines, for purposes of risk management, will sell equity, sell the S&P 500. Um, the stock's held in it and whatnot. So boom, it'll sell it. So what I'm looking for next week, how to make money next week, okay, is watch the VIX. If it's spiking over 3% in the day, the, it's tr they're triggering sell orders. So it's the time to short, okay? You want to short when the VIX is spiking, period, the end. You want to be long when the VIX is dropping because you don't want to fight the machines. Don't fight the machines, okay? So... Expect the propaganda ministry to be in full force. Let all the freaks on TV talk about their nonsense and bullshit. Um, I think next week, if you're long, it's a great opportunity to buy the dip. Pick your day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, whatever. Buy the dip. You could sell, put credit spreads a month out. You could just uh, you buy the dip. You could buy calls. You do whatever you want. This is not financial advice. Please don't fucking do what I tell you to do. What do you mean? If I'm telling you to sell a credit spread, don't, don't do it and then be mad at me if you do it. I don't listen to anyone but myself. So if I say those things, I'm kind of just speaking my mind. Don't actually fucking do what I'm saying and then be mad at me if you lose money. You know. But I, I've been keeping you guys on the right track for the market, even though I have this weird little hair. I, I can see it. Believe me, it's bothering me too. So um, anyway, that's the game plan. Stick with your trading plan. Um, understand the mechanisms at play here. Watch the VIX. Watch SPY. And you better be staying frosty, boy. Because if you're not staying frosty in this market, well, you're fucked. 
So good night, and y'all enjoy the weekend. See you next week.